a massive step forward, uh, as you say, Rochelle. It's been a long, long, long time coming. There are so many equivalents uh, across uh, the world of cycling. The Giro has their own version uh, of the, for the women's tour. Uh, and the Tour de France, well, there have been attempts in the past. They haven't really stood uh, over the test of the time. But this time, uh, we've got a stage race going on at the same time uh, as for the men's. This is what's happened, is they haven't waited for the men's race to finish, as you mentioned just earlier on. Uh, the men's will be finishing on the Champs-Élysées as well, uh, just later tonight. Uh, but it's all about talking about uh, the women's events to get it going, to get sponsors, sponsorships going. They've secured those, and that is just absolutely crucial when it comes to sports, but also especially uh, when it comes uh, to cycling. So a first uh, stage here in Paris. Earlier on, we were at the Eiffel Tower where the women left off 24 teams as they made their way across the River Seine, uh, then to the Jardin des Tuileries, uh, all the way up the Champs-Élysées over here around the Arc de Triomphe. 11 laps, as you said, making it 12 in total afterwards. Uh, all of that for the renovation to take the first ever uh, yellow jersey for the Tour de France femme. So a huge day uh, for her winning, of course, uh, the sprint as well with those two intermediate sprints uh, on uh, the race today, making it the uh, also uh, clinching that uh, green jersey too. Uh, so really, it's a massive day for women's sports uh, just in general because... Many, many, many girls, many women might want to take up cycling, but they'll all, always have had to look up uh, to the Tour de France men's. The Tour de France being the biggest date in the cycling calendar, of course, the most prestigious race uh, for the men. Well, it takes three weeks going across the country, 21 stages in all. Uh, and the women, well, while they might not quite be doing uh, that long uh, just yet, this, it'll be going on for just about uh, a, a week, eight uh, stages in all as they head uh, towards the east. Well, it's a massive uh, step for them so really something that was uh, that was that was that needed to come uh, for them there's going to be everything there's going to be mountain stages uh, and of course that finish over at the Planche des Belfi in the very eastern France a legendary spot just as legendary of course as the Champs-Élysées here where they've kicked off uh, in grand 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 fashion you couldn't have much more uh, iconic spots could you really to represent France uh, and the Tour de France uh, in itself so a big day uh, for the women as they head east that first yellow jersey has been won and then by the Dutch rider. Uh, more to come over the next weeks, but we'll have to see who can make it through over the eight stages and we'll cross that finishing line at the Planche de Belfi with the yellow jersey. Well, of course, we'll be following uh, the uh, Tour de France femme uh, eagerly here on France 24. As you say, an exciting, de exciting day for uh, cycling, uh, not least because there's also uh, the men's final, which is, is wrapping up today. It's been a really, really exciting uh, event, James. And Jonas Vingegaard then set for his first Tour de France uh, triumph this Sunday. What more can you tell us? Well, I can tell you, uh, Rochelle, that the Danes are out. I didn't have to, sp uh, to, to step far out of my flat earlier on to bump into the first of today, and they're everywhere here. Uh, so huge, huge pride uh, for Vinegard, who's set to win uh, his first ever uh, title, his first yellow jersey in the Tour de France. Uh, a huge win for him and for the country, uh, of course, as he, he, he manages to take the lead over uh, Pogacar. Pogacar, who was defending two titles. He'd won the last two editions, but couldn't quite make it, of course, uh, after Pogacar uh, lost that yellow yellow jersey uh, with Vinegard taking it uh, from him. Well, he just managed to stay clear of him and have a huge, huge, huge lead. The two of them uh, really far ahead as well of third place, Geraint Thomas. So a massive uh, performance from the two. And of course, we saw that act of sportsmanship earlier on in the Pyrenees uh, of the two helping each other out uh, with the Dane helping out uh, Pogacar uh, once he'd slipped. Uh, so a big day for him who could be then uh, if things go well and they should do, of course, uh, be taking that yellow jersey back to everything where everything started because the the Tour de France this year uh, went across four countries, uh, starting off in Denmark, going to Belgium as well, and uh, across Switzerland. Uh, so taking that yellow jersey back to everything where it all started over uh, in Denmark with uh, a huge uh, coronation to come uh, for the Dane.